This video is intended to demonstrate the setup process of the Honda NMEA 2000 gauges. If you'll notice, there's an LCD display down the bottom of the, of the gauge, and this display has two sets of display screens. The first set that comes up when you first start up the, the gauge is the operating set of screens. But from that operating set of screens, you can move into or enter the setup menu. And the setup menu is really what we want to focus on today. I'm going to power down the gauge and then repower it back up. And you'll notice the first screen that comes up when I do that is going to be the Honda splash screen. After the Honda splash screen is, is, is uh, shown for a couple seconds, then it reverts to the operational screens. In this case, the first one is engine data. And there's five different screens that you can look at on operational screens use the up button or down button to navigate through those screens. So let's navigate down. The first one's engine data. The second one is alarm screen. Third is a battery screen to show battery voltage, system voltage. The fourth one is engine data screen and it's got two, the ability to show two different sets of data. Then the last screen is the system setup screen. And as you can see, if I hit down one more time, it reverts, one more time, it reverts back to the first screen that we looked at, the original engine data screen. These are going to show data that you've selected on the display after your setup. But let's get into the setup first. We're going to navigate, again use the down button, we're going to navigate back down to the system setup. And we want to enter the system setup, and we use the enter button. This enter button is used to enter to make a change in the setting and then also to exit once you've made the change. So we want to enter system setup. We press that button and we go into the system setup. Back down again. Okay, so we're in the system setup men menu. And I'm going to go to the very top. The, these, these uh, setup menus, again, are, are set to just revert back to the top. Once you get to the bottom, you hit the down button again, it goes right back up to the top. So the first we see here is to choose the menu that you're, gonna, that you're going to set the gauge to. In order to make any changes to the menu, you enter, you hit the enter button. So I push the enter button. Notice up in the upper right hand corner it has the word set. And now here's where we're going to choose what this gauge is going to be. Is it going to be TAC US? Would be TAC with, U, with US um, um, features. We hit it one down. That goes to cancel, which means I don't want to make any changes. Let me hit it again. Here's Speedo EU for European settings for speedometer. Here's Speedo US. Here's TAC EU. And again, TAC US. So TAC US is what we want to set it to because we want US calibrations and we want this to be a tachometer. Hit the enter button. Now that I've hit the enter button, that set goes away and it says, it's, it says we're back to the choose menu. Let's go to the second screen on this one. Hit the down button. Speed selection. Right now it's selected for no GPS input. So if I want to change that, hit the enter button. Notice in the upper right hand corner it says set. Now I can choose to whether it has a GPS input or no GPS. Here it says GPS input, no GPS. No GPS is what I want. I hit the enter button to select that choice. Go down to the next screen. What do you want the LCD speed in units to show on the LCD screen? Right now it's set for kilometers per hour. If I want to change that to miles per hour, once again hit the enter button. Set comes up in the upper right hand corner. Now I can choose between kilometers, miles per hour, knots, back to kilometers. Let's choose miles per hour. That's what I want. Hit enter, set. Go down to the next screen. Here's where you set the contrast of the display. If I want to set the contrast, hit enter. There's the set. We, go, we can go either lower in contrast or use this button to go higher in contrast. Let's set it at 7. Hit enter. 
now that now we're back out of that the next setting is backlighting you can change the backlighting engine position what's the engine position for this particular gauge what are the choices I hit enter we got the word set zero would be just for a single engine I'm going backwards but we go to four three two one back to zero so you can have up to five engines on the system we're going to set this one at zero or the first engine or a single engine system hit the enter button got rid of the set next one is units we want the units in English or do we want them in metric we're going to leave them in English go to the next one fuel tanks how many fuel tanks is on the boat I've got three as an example hit enter to enter the setup one two three we're gonna have three tanks on this one that's what I want hit enter to exit let's go down to the next one the alarms this is asking me if do you want the alarms to show on the operating screens which we looked at earlier if you want the alarms to if you want that screen to be demonstrated or shown you leave it on if you don't want the alarms to show then you can change that to off by hitting enter hitting the down button or up button and it says off that's what I want I hit enter again and now I'm out of that one go to the next one battery same as the as the um, alarms button or the alarm screen do you want battery screen to show on that one you can either choose on or off and we get down to trim trim is, is shown on the LCD display when the trim is activated you'll see a bar graph come up do you want that on or off I want to leave it on we hit one more time here's the trim adjust you use the trim adjust to adjust to a 50 percent up or down position as it shows in the manual and and set that and then you're done hit it one more time now we're back to it says enter to exit <clears throat> which means we've gotten to the bottom of the list of options that we have here if I was to hit down button one more time it goes back to choose menu which is the first screen that we saw so I don't want to choose menu I've already chosen that when I go what go back to enter to exit and I hit the enter and now I've just exited the system setup menu and I'm back on the operating screens now before when we first started I said there was five screens on here there's going to be one less now see if I go up there's there's the engine data screen there's the battery screen and then there's another engine data screen what happened is we turned the alarm screen off back in the system setup menu if you recall I said I didn't want the, the alarms to show so I turned it off now it's not showing in the operating menu if I need to change that just go back down to system setup you hit enter to, to enter the system setup and I can go back down and select that I want the alarms to be on in this case I don't I want to go back to the screen that says enter to exit so I can exit out of the setup menu and I exit out of the setup menu and I'm back onto the main menu now there are two screens on the main menu the main operating menu that can be changed on these gauges the first one here up at the very top is the engine data right now it's supposed to show engine RPM or engine speed if I want to change that again in order to change something you hit the enter button so I hit the enter button here notice how it, how it reverses the the text at the very top so you have a black bar and a white text up at the top that tells me I'm in the in the mode that I can make the changes to the gauges so right now it says engine data all I need to do is toggle through until I find the data that I want to be displayed on this screen engine hours trim adjust fuel tanks you can pick out whatever you want fuel tank three two one because we set it for three tanks the fuel rate there's a lot of choices here on what you want so I want engine coolant temp okay I've chosen that one so now I've, that's what I want I hit enter and now that reverse screen goes away and it shows every time I come to the screen it's going to be coolant temp instead of, of uh, engine speed let's set the other screen go down to where the dual setup screen is again I'm going to hit enter and notice how it reverses out at the top now in this case 
I can only go one direction because there's two two screens here I can only go one direction with this button so if I want to change the data in this screen I press the, this button here and you see it changes and adjusts to whatever is available on the on the CAN bus and once I hit or or get to the point where it has the data that I'm looking for I stop and I hit enter again so in this case we want fuel tank one that's what I want I hit enter or excuse me fuel tank three let's go back and change that let's go back as you as you scroll through I missed the, tool, the fuel tank one and you can only go one direction so I had to go back through okay fuel tank one that's what I want on that one if I hit enter you see now it says fuel tank one well let's suppose I want to make this fuel tank two I hit enter again and I use this button to toggle until I get to fuel tank two fuel tank two hit enter now I'm showing fuel tank on one on the left hand side tank one and on the right hand side tank two now every time I start up these gauges and every time they power up though that's the data that I'm going to have available to me there's the uh, coolant temp which we set before and there's the um, system setup and there's the the tank one and tank two so these two screens are customizable to whatever you want to show on that display and now you've got it set up if you need to change something in the setup <clears throat> go back to system setup as I said before hit enter you go into the system setup menu and you toggle down through all your options to make any adjustments that you need to make from an operational standpoint once this is set up you really shouldn't need to get into system setup because all your data is going to be available to you on the first screen as we had before that's the tachometer setup. The speedometer setup is exactly the same. It has the two sets of menus, and you go again go through the system setup to make the choices that you want for that particular gauge or that particular engine through the system setup menu. Exit out of the system setup menu, change your screens to customize them to the data that you want to see, and you're set up. And that's how you set up the NEMA 2000 gauges from Honda.